The attack at Michilmackinac would be repeated as one British outpost after another falls to the Indians, and this new war spreads across the land. All the British frontier forts are surrounded. Michilimackinac, Wyathnon, Pitt, St. Joseph, Edward Augustus, Niagara, and the biggest of all, Detroit. But the British conceive their own cruelty. A British officer writes to his commander with a plan. I will try to inoculate the Indians by means of blankets that may fall into their hands, taking care, however, not to get the disease myself. The blankets are infected with smallpox. Fragments are inserted into silver boxes by soldiers immune to the virus. The boxes are given to a delegation of Ottawa Indians at Fort Pitt. They are told they contain medicine which should not be opened till they return home. The war parties return to their tribal lands. Some carry the little silver boxes. Andrew Blackbird, the adopted son of an Ottawa chief, described what happened. Accordingly, after they reached home, they opened the box. Pretty soon burst a terrible sickness. The tradition says it was indeed awful and terrible. Lodge after lodge was totally vacated. Nothing but dead bodies lying here and there in their lodges. The whole coast of Arbor Crosh which is said to have been a continuous village some 15 or 16 miles long, was entirely depopulated and laid waste. The British commander wrote later that by sending germs instead of British soldiers, he had saved the lives of better men.